All right, so Baglo, we want to play a little bit of a game today here, right? It's going to be like some speed round questions. We're going to fire some questions at you. You got to fire the answer back. You don't really have too much time to think about this. We're not looking for you to speculate. We just want to go, boom, instant response. Okay. All right, we'll start you off with an easy one. Who won the rap battle, Nas or Jay-Z? Nas. I'm with that. I Is am right with here. that. All right, question number two. These are all serious, by the way. What's your favorite yeah. color, Skittle? Uh, red. All right. Yeah, that's a Marshawn Lynch question right there. <laughs> all right. Um, big year, Tupac. Tupac. All right. All right, another important one. Put a new toilet paper roll on. You over or under? <laughs> I don't know the question. <laughs> <laughs> when it rolls out, is it over or is it in the back? Rolling from the top or the bottom? Oh, from the bottom. Oh, All you right, freaking you savage, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people who have cats, they always do it that way. Like, honestly, <laughs> I've heard that the top is was invented by the toilet paper companies because they realized it's like 30 percent more people use if it comes off the top we'll have yeah. to verify that we'll get a fact check on that all yeah. right baglo greatest female rapper in your opinion um foxy brown oh i like that answer i didn't see that one coming that's good i though. didn't see it coming either but that's a good answer all right favorite strand of weed oh uh, skywalker all right well i know what i'm doing the next time i'm in denver <laughs> or Amsterdam. I'm going to Infinity or Cookies. And I'm going to Skywalker. All right. Jordan, Kobe, or LeBron? Jordan. That's a wrong answer, friend. That is a wrong answer. You're talking to a Kobe I mean, fan. I need answers. I would need answers for that one. I feel like I, this is my thing on that when people say that. Jordan, yeah, of course. Quinn. Jordan played against more superstars than any other superstar basketball player in one. It's Those really, Kobe, really hard. Kobe, Kobe and LeBron are very good players, but they don't they didn't play against as many other good players as Jordan and still did what they did. All right, that's fair. I'll tell you what, it, Jordan to me probably is, if I'm doing it in an unbiased way the best player in the history of basketball ever. I'm also a big Julius Irving fan. I don't think he gets enough credit. I think he should be in these conversations. People don't put him in there. And he was up there. He was one of those guys that gave, like, other superstars problems. Like, yes, he was one that had the shoes that everybody wanted as a kid and all that. Yes, he slept on. He I slept feel on. like if, if he was born later, if he played later, I feel like he, he'd get more respect. Uh, and right. then, but for me, Kobe just will always have a special place. And that's because I grew up watching more of Kobe than Jordan. And also because I'm a big Knicks fan. And hey, while we're having a good season so far this year, thank you, Mr. Randall. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Jordan just dominated us. That's a tough one for me. He, he was serious, bro. Yeah, he yeah, was. He was. All right, Frankie. All right. Uh, Godfather or Scarface? Scarface. Yeah, I like that. you can't go wrong with either one of those answers. I'm obviously I'm partial to Godfather, the Italian culture side of it, but fucking Scarface is so epic. Yeah, it's yeah, but, just it's just Godfather is more of a slow pace movie. It is, it is good storyline, very good storyline. But Scarface, they get straight to the business. Yeah, movie. they do. <laughs> and, and, yeah, right? from from the very beginning to the last moment yeah. of the movie, people are just getting. It's fucking blasted. Yes, yes. That was it, bro. I don't know why. And I look at old shit like that and wish I lived in those old times, bro. <laughs> like at that age. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, the, well that, that question is really which one are you popping in first? You're watching both of them. Right, right. Your Sunday's yeah. ruined. You're, 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 you're starting with Scarface, then you're going to Godfather 1, Godfather 2, and you don't have to watch Godfather 3 because it's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Instead of Godfather Three, put in the Bronx Tale, and that's a good substitute. Yeah, we could. Yeah, swap them out. Yep, yep. All right, best actor, singer combination: Jamie Fox, Will Smith, Queen Latifah, DMX. And I was talking to my wife earlier, and she said I had to add in Justin Timberlake. 
Will Smith. Yeah. Okay. I got to, for me, it's Jamie Foxx. I mean, they're all great, which is why they're all listed, except for, yeah, Justin's good, I guess. But. Because I, Jamie Foxx would be like my second, if, if uh, he was in on that, Jamie Foxx would be my choice. I think if Jamie Foxx had, like, had done more with music, as far as putting out that's albums where, than that's the other. Where he moved that. Yeah, that's where he yeah. moves that. He only got like two or three hit songs. He got a lot of good music, but he losing that area. Yeah, oh, I, man, I, he can sing though. He if, can, he got if Will Smith, movie. if Will Smith would have done a little bit more with music that didn't involve his movies, because he was doing his, his soundtracks for most of his movies, um, I think I mean he would have had a lot of records that would have come after that that people really kind of clung on to. Bro, that one old school song, uh, "Summertime." Summertime. Bro. Oh, summertime was great. It, it's 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 two thousand. 21. I don't know when that song was made, but it, it's over 21 years old. That's for sure. You oh, know what yeah, I mean? that I was mid 90s. It, it'll saying? probably live on forever. Every time summer starts approaching, you hear it everywhere you go. Yeah. Feel me? I can't think of the Jamie Foxx song. No, you're right. You are absolutely right on that. You're absolutely right. Gold I mean, digger. that song will be forever. Gold Digger. Kanye. Kanye. Did, didn't, yeah. they, didn't, Kanye. J, didn't Jamie Foxx come over that? Yeah, but it's Kanye's song. I yeah, think. yeah. I, but that's one of the, like, from his, when I think of his voice, and I laugh every time I think of it, because he did so many different renditions of that song, played in a comedy role. Because that's the other thing with Jamie Foxx, is he had a, a, a comedy career as well. So oh, he kind of yeah, triple threaded it. He had the TV show, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He did everything. He did, to be honest with you, Jamie Foxx might be one of the most talented people on the planet. Yeah, I agree. I, for me, Will Smith lost movie. points because of the movie Wild Wild West and the song Wild Wild West. He lost a lot of points on that. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. They they did too much with Wild Wild West. Men in Black was enough, to be honest. Yeah. 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 But Bad Boys, he gained tons of points back for Bad Boys. He can do no wrong after Bad Boys. Yeah, that's true. Right. Bad Boys is probably my favorite movie. I, I follow his IG, and uh, him and Martin Lawrence are constantly – posting like photos like renditions of themselves in the same like same get up same poses and taking it all the way back to when bad boys first came out like they do those two together and you can tell they're they're like they're legit tight like now 20 yeah, like some years later you, yeah real life yeah yeah you know that you can see it yeah you that's not acting you're not acting that much off screen and all that you know no. what i mean they don't have to. They're both fucking rich. If they didn't like each other, they just wouldn't do shit together. Yeah, I just I just go on my little piece of the world, you know what I mean, and do my thing. Yeah, yeah. Can you name all the members of the Wu-Tang Clan? No. <laughs> Honesty, I love it. That, I don't know them by name. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know them, like, by name at all, bro. Ain't Red Man and Met the Man with them, though, right? Method Man was Red Man did a lot of work with them, um, but Method Man was one of the Wu Tang Clan. Hold up, Ghostface Killer. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. See, I've heard his name. See, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. I know him as a whole. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wu Tang. You know, when I was growing up, man, like they were all the rage. Like Wu Tang was all the rage. So you, we learned a lot, of, a little bit about them, and they have their documentary that's being produced by RZA right now and yes. it's actually pretty good i'm happy that's pretty good little trailers not trailers but uh like they're, they're talking about how they, they're making it okay yeah it's yeah, pretty it's, it's pretty on good. IG and shit right now 